my name is Nicole. Uh, this week's nature notes will be all about slugs. So, slugs are part of the mollusk family, which means that they're related to snails, seashells, and conch shells. And some people can confuse snails and slugs because they look a little bit similar, but slugs are usually much bigger and they don't have as big of a shell as snails do. Slug shells are very small and very clear colored and they only cover about half of the slug's body, which means that the slug can fit into very small areas that snails might not be able to get into. Slugs also have some pretty neat eyeballs on the edge of these little stalks. And they have very simple eyes on the edge of their eye stalks, but their eyes can retract back into their head or they can go out forward, which helps them find their way in these small holes. And slugs also produce a slimy substance, which helps them move through those small holes, but can leave behind a trail of slug slime, which makes them very easy to spot. There are two main species of slugs in Wisconsin. They are called the gray garden slug and the spotted garden slug. The gray garden slug, as its name suggests, is gray or brown colored. It's fairly large. And the spotted garden slug is light gray colored and it has spots on it. Most slugs will be born before the winter time and can survive through the winter as eggs or as adults. And slugs need a common, slugs year round need a place to live that has a damp, dry, and cool place. Because if the sunlight gets on them too long, they will start to dry up and they will die, unfortunately. And there's one more species of slug that's pretty common in Wisconsin, and it is called the Carolina mantle slug. And it looks a lot like the spotted slug, but it's a lot smaller and it's a lot darker colored than that slug. And a lot of people think slugs are pests because slugs can get into people's gardens and chew on plants. And they can eat the stems, the fruits, the leaves, and the flowers. So they might get into people's gardens and cause some problems. And even their slime can get onto fruits and things and cause more problems. So a lot of people think slugs are pests. But slugs are actually very useful because slugs can be food for a lot of different animals in the forests. And slugs help us recycle nutrients and elements like nitrogen and even decaying matter. So even though slugs are kind of gross and they're a little weird looking, they're very important animals and we need them in our forests. The end. <laughs> <laughs>